Thursday and I just got up. I'm getting ready to go to work and I thought I would share with you a a broke my no buy haul. It's not that big a deal but it is but it I still broke the rules. All right one of the first things I got is this Clinique dramatically different moisturizing gel. I really wanted the lotion but um, I was already in line at Ulta and ready to check out. And I saw this and the women were taking my spot in line, I guess because it looked like I was looking and I wasn't in line. So uh, I just grabbed one. I'm, I find that, uh, or I found last night that I can put this on pretty close under my eyes and it doesn't wick into my eyeballs. I used to use this pre-YouTube, I think, or at the very beginning. This is my second channel. Uh, I've been doing YouTube for four years. It's a long story why I deleted my last channel. Uh, it was stupid. It was impulsive. And I regret it every day. Watching my numbers not move. Alright, so that's the dramatically different moisturizing gel. And it really feels good. Let's move on. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get ready while, while I share. I'm going to... I have used this... Select cover up. I noticed when I went online that they don't make this anymore. Or I didn't see it online. So I guess I'm going to have to. Um, they say it's very close to the P. Louise. I'll have to get some P. Louise. Because I really like this. I also really liked my. Uh, I did a Violet Voss look yesterday with a new Violet Voss palette I got, the Heather scent. Um, the look I'm going to do today is going to be very similar. So, oh, I'm still watching the series Love. I get, I don't know, there, there must be a, a thing, a psychological thing, that when you binge on something, you like it better than um, if you watch it piecemeal. Is there, I feel like that way with a book. The book is more, more better. Mo uh, I think movies are better. <laughs> If you don't cut it on, no. A lot of times when I when Pat's out of town, I watch a movie by myself. I cut it on and off a bunch of times because I'm usually doing something else like laundry or whatever. The TV series I'm watching, Love, is really good. All right, I'm gonna uh, do these warm colors, and I'm gonna start over here. And I'm going to work my way over here, and then I'm going to come back and put the sparkle on the lid. So, yeah, I'm really attached to the characters. I thought I thought that the show was coming to an end based on something. What is her name? Mickey? It's an odd nickname for a girl. It's an odd name for a girl, right? Maybe it's short for Michelle. It's really cold outside again today. All right, now I'm gonna move up to the next one. So yeah, and then I watched some American Idol last night. Um, so this time, this season of American Idol, you know how the, I don't know. Anyway, 
They've got two or three that have tragic backstories. One has cystic fibrosis and one of them has a brain tumor. So that's the backstory. Anyway, let's see. So many of you don't watch American Idol. You quit watching it. I guess probably when uh, Simon Cal quit. I'm still working across with those warm ones. Now I'm going to do a warm color in the outside corner. I'm using a vintage brush. It's called the Vintage Cosmetic Company. This one is called Step One for the Money. <laughs> I missed the point. I'm probably missing the point completely. Why I'm not amused. So I went to Ulta yesterday. I saw uh, who's the chick that Too Faced did the uh, collab with and one of the things she has is like a, a body bronzy sparkly powder I'm really attached to, I really gravitate towards products like that body sparkle I like my whole body to sparkle <laughs> you'd never guess would you anyway I think it's I think if I'm not mistaken I think the product is called pet the kitty and I'm sure it has a double it's a double entendre From the looks of the girl on the front, I don't know who the girl is. I think it's a collab with somebody. She looks like a st stripper. Okay, I'm gonna take that. That brown is just spectacular in this palette. Isn't that a beautiful saturated brown? It's like coffee grounds. That coffee's delicious. I love coffee. So I watched, uh, I've been watching HRH. She has a new video out and I, I watch it piecemeal, but mainly to savor it because she doesn't, she says she puts them out once a week. I'm not certain that they come out once a week. Anyway, she's talking about her new her new bag. I forget. Goyard. I've never cared for that pattern. I know somebody with a, a copy. They bragged that they ordered it from China. That they didn't pay. It looks, looks just like the real one, but I ordered it from China. I, I, be, I, I don't think it does, but this, the color's a bit off. All right, I don't know what color. Actually, I really like the gold. I used this yesterday. Yesterday, I messed up my look and put a, a pink in there too. I'm gonna keep it warm this time. I'm gonna leave the eyes. This is what I always do. I leave the eyes at this point and go to the brows and I liked my brows just oh I played with the Urban Decay uh, brow pen yesterday liked it I sh certainly did because you know how in real life these hairs grow kind of up well I could draw those in with that marker pen. So I guess yesterday I could call that a scouting ex expedition. I was scouting out what I'd like to come back for at another point. 
when I'm not broke anymore. Being broke is awful. It made me it made me happy buying all those Christmas presents for my family. It made me really happy buying them and giving them giving. But man, I'm tired of trying to pay that bill down. Oh. All right, this is the non-PC brow powder. I think I do want that uh, brow pen. This brush is a nice brush. It, it feels like a quality tool. It's Wayne Goss number eight. And I use that in my brows. And here's the Kat Von D product I'm using. It's got, it's called uh, Brow Struck. And it, it, it is dimensional. It's got uh, sparkles in it. All right, I'm gonna put that away. The number, what is it? Number eight. Y'all remember that, so I put it in the description box. Maybe I'll put these together so I know what I use. Oh, let's go ahead and do some brow glue. I'm going to use the Anastasia Beverly Hills. Um, after going back and forth between Anastasia Beverly Hills and 24 Hour Brow Set by Benefit, I think that if you like a stiff brow that stays stiff, it makes your brows stay where you put them all day long. When I went to wash my face last night, my brows were still stiff and still standing up where I put them. This is your, this is your product. This is out of the two between, um, now that I got it standing up, between the Benefit 24-Hour Brow Set I have a ill-mannered Ill brow over here There it's not, It wasn't being a team player It was being a free thinker Alright, I'm really liking that eyeshadow. All right, I'm going to put some jojoba oil. Yeah, you, yeah. The reason I'm not using my uh, La Mer Renewal oil is I used it all up. It has some jojoba oil in there because I like the. I like the fragrance of the Renewal Oil. When you put it on, you can smell it on your face. But, to me, it's a luxurious smell. It makes me feel fancy. My hands are nice and dark, right? My face is not dark. Uh, I used this on my face in the back of my hands. It's a Sephora gradual. It's a tinted self-tanning body mist. I guess when you put oil over the top of it, it makes it not work. I probably should do it before I go to bed at night. I still hadn't sprayed my body with it. Long story. I just don't know. The stars just hadn't run. I, I don't like to get in there and I don't know. I don't know why that's a issue. All right, I'm gonna use the Urban Decay Optical Blurring Brush again. And I'm using it with the 
Make It Forever HD. Let's see what the whole name is. Ultra HD Coverage Invisible Stick Foundation. I bet I've had this foundation since I uh, had my other channel. Okay, so here's the reason I canceled my other channel. I was doing really great and I had hit over a thousand. My channel was just growing by leaps and bounds. And then I got uh, some threatening messages and phone calls and text, both Pat and I. And evidently, my channel was a trigger for this person. And at the time, I was not in a good place. It was too close on the heels of my dad dying. He actually committed suicide. So it was too close on the heels of that. So in my unstable state of mind, I figured that since my channel was a trigger for this person and I wanted the torture to stop, I figured the best way to stop the torture was to delete, not just quit making channels and quit going on social media, just delete everything. I deleted the, the channel and the um, Instagram. Anyway, the whole time I was doing it, Pat was telling me, don't stop, quit, don't do that. Stop there. Anyway. I guess when you feel like doing something rash, you should just go sit in your closet for a minute. And take some deep breaths. Anyway, it stopped the, stopped the torture somewhat. The, the person who it was a trigger for, it stopped them for a little bit. Anyway, we, I think we've got her blocked on everything now where she can't, she can't contact us. She had not sent us any mail. Hopefully she doesn't, maybe she, hopefully she's got something else to get psycho over besides me. And uh, she's focused on that. All right, there's the foundation. I'm gonna put, let's do something different today. I'm gonna use the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless. What is it? Airbrush Flawless Finish Skin Perfecting Micro Powder. And this is in medium. So I've hear, heard some good talk about the, I've heard it over and over, but I heard it again recently about the Fit Me Powder. And that if you get it to get the one, one of the ones that's colored because it has a little extra coverage. I was tempted to get one of those yesterday when I was doing my no buy, breaking my fast from Ulta. I'm gonna use this pencil, I'm gonna use this is an Urban Decay double-ended pencil. It evidently came out of a palette. I'm going to apply a pistol to my waterline and I'm going to apply perversion to my tight line. I know, I bet you're wondering what the hell are you gonna do with your hair, it looks like. It looks like bedhead in a bad way. It is. That's why it doesn't just look like it, it is. On these outsides where my eyes turn down, I try to bring the pencil up into my lashes even more. Now I'm gonna go back to the, uh, it's called Berry Burst. That's what the palette's called. 
I'm going to go back into this palette and take that chocolate across my across my lash line for a diffused liner look. You know how when a, a shadow is blended thin, how you can see its undertone better? Well, when this shadow is blended out thin, I see some purples in it. I think that blending right there is what wears my eyeballs out, is it exfoliates around my eyes. I think that's what's doing it. I bet it's just a bunch of things in working together. Working together in a bad way instead of a good way. All right, I'm gonna take a fluffier brush. I lost the one that I was working with. It's okay, Jenny, you can pull out another one. And I'm going to take that camel color. Now, I'm going to show you what else I got. Got some, what, is it, what do they call them? Cotton swabs. Paper stick. Got some of those to go in this. That was part of my goodbye. Uh, Kathy, Kathy Cares Beauty Chats. I know, I'm sorry. Anyway. Uh, this is Essence Volume Booster Lash Primer. Super volume with super fruits. All right, let's give this a try. If I really like this, I'm going to go buy a bunch of them. Who does that sound like? Having unnecessary hoarding. While y'all were gone, I finished putting on the eyelash primer. And I have pulled out now the Exhibitionist uh, Mascara by CoverGirl. And Lourdes recommended this. And she said it's like the... Well, we'll just see. Like the Monsieur B. I'm going to... Uh, I don't know whether that's something she heard or she tested herself. But either way, the conversation was over a week ago, so... I don't know which one is. Uh, anyway, I'm testing this mascara for my kit. It's really hard to know the true, uh, true results since I put a primer on first, right? I should have curled my lashes because they're sticking straight out. I'm going to let them dry a little bit and then I'll curl them. I should have curled them before I put on the lash primer. I also bought uh, the Essence mascara that everybody talks about. Princess or whatever that's in the cute container. I'll try that next. Uh, not today. Not with this. Because then I wouldn't know what I was getting. Rather, wouldn't be true scientific results, right? Alright, I'm going to let this dry and then I'm going to curl my lashes. I put foundation. Oh, I need uh, under eye concealer. That's what the problem is. Let's do that. This is the Maybelline Instant Re Instant Age Rewind and Brightener. I use. The I've been using this color for. I don't know. Probably since my old channel. This is my Elf Flawless Concealer Brush. I begin the contouring of my nose with with the age rewind it starts bringing out the tip of the nose by highlighting and then i go back and contour need to 
weather is wreaking havoc with my hair. I'm not going to, I was going to say I'm not going to set that under eye. Because I think it, okay, let's curl. I don't, I don't think it's a good idea to curl your lashes after mascara. Because it's stickier and it will pull your lashes out. But this doesn't feel sticky. There, that's better already, right? Better -er, er. Let's do the blush. Uh, I was sharing this with y'all in one of my videos. And Kathy, Kathy Care says she needs it. I gotta get that name of that. Uh, we'll just call her Kathy Cares. I'll link her below so you know who I'm talking about. She said that because I, she was tempted to purchase this Charlotte Tilbury blush now. Uh, it's the Love is the Drug. Kind of going out of order this morning. I usually do bronzer first. This is my uh, Bare Minerals Warmth. I use it for both contour and bronzing. Is a story it's written on the wall of what you did, what I did, and more than a lesson to each other. This is my uh, Real Techniques blush brush. It's stained this color on the end because I use it for bronzer all the time. I don't use it for anything else. My brush that I use for blush is a uh, Hobby Lobby. I guess because it's stiff and it's the brushes the bristles are uneven, it's good for stippling. And I really do like my blush to be not as you know, a solid thing. That was warmth by Bare Minerals. It comes in a pot like this. I don't remember where. It, I think I got this in a trade on Makeup Alley. Years ago. I bet eight years ago. Alright, let's do Sleek Highlight Palette. It's called Cleopatra's Kiss. And one of the colors I use is over here. And I don't know which one it is. Let's see if we can guess. We're going to guess which one it is. Sphinx. I bet that's Sphinx. Delta is that. Dynasty and Goddess. I think this one's called Goddess. If you go left to right, top to bottom, and then read these from top to bottom. That's how I'm just determining. See, that one's kind of got a pink tinge to it. I'm going to use that one. I'm going to put some on this Wayne Goss brush. I don't know what number it is. I think it's maybe two. It is. Number two. So I'm going to put some on that. Give it a little uh, Fix Plus spray. I bought that Christmas before last in a gift set that had the three flavors. I still hadn't even dipped into the other, other flavors yet. I can call it flavors. It's my TV show. I'm taking the lighter one from this palette. It's, it's a little bit creamy. I think it's a cream to powder. I'm putting it on the inside. Putting it on the end of my nose. And put it on the top of my lip. The essence is hard to cover up. The primer, the eyelash primer. I know, I don't use complete sentences. This is going to be fun getting this off tonight. I guess I won't get it off. I'll just leave it on there since I'm not scrubbing my eyes anymore. I'm using the Sensitive Bioderma now on my face. Alright. 
So that is the CoverGirl Exhibitionist Waterproof over the top of Essence Volume Booster. I'm not going to mess with it anymore. You know, just, just pretend like it looks good, okay? All right, I'm going to put a little bit of... Uh, La Mer the powder down here. I think that may be an issue. I, now, as I'm putting it on, it's starting to feel dry under my eyes. So maybe that's what I need to do. Do y'all know anything about the Becca Eye Under Eye Primer? I'm gonna read on that today. Like if it's balmy and it doesn't move, but it conditions under your eyes, that might be that might be a problem solver for me. What do you think? I think I'm going, to, I think I am. I'm going to take uh, some of this same highlighter out of the Sleep Palette and put it up here like that. I'm going to go back to the Berry Burst Palette and make sure the warmth on the out on this outside corner is the same. I'm going to use the Cover FX Illuminating Setting Spray. And I'm going to use my Tora fan that goes in my kit. Then I'm going to go back and blot down or map down the areas that I don't want shiny, which would be, this is a Sonia Kasha uh, brush. I bet I've had this eight years. This is the uh, MAC. Studio Fix Powder in NW22. And I'm just putting it where being a grease ball will be obnoxious. Um, around my mouth here where I've got the is it nasal labial folds? I'm gonna this is a radiant or radiant pen, clicky pen from Maybelline. I'm gonna keep keep that radiant in the deepest shadowiest parts of the fold. So I can bounce light out of it and make it look plumper. I'm pretending like I'm putting Juvederm in this area. Making these, this right here plump out. Must be dehydrated. I'll look. I look especially old this morning. All right, I'm going to use some real sand from Laura. Okay. I know we're just when it this is a true for real get ready with me because I keep doing I go back and forth and set that. I feel like that powder is less likely to cake than the other one. Now I'm going to have to even up the, the bronzing because it, it looks too one-dimensional down there. There. Now let's use... Well, I can't find the lips. Uh, there it is. Let's see if there's something else in, 
the box from Lord that I haven't used. Here's a Buxom lip gloss in the color Havana Punch. Let's use this. Boy, that feel and sm feels and smells great. That's awesome. Now I'm going to take this Ciate in Infamous. It's a liquid lip with sparkle in it. It's one of those liquid lips that after, after you put it on, if you rub your lips together, the sparkle comes out. Or shows up. Alright, there's that look. Um, this is a Amica Bombshell Blowout Brush. Um, I was ironing or combing out some of the wrinkles from my bed head last night. I'm not sure it's doing anything. Yeah, it's not doing anything. I'm going to unplug this. I'm going to take a teasing brush and just give myself a little bit of, a little height. I probably should use some of that puff powder. The, when, I don't know, I guess it's the heat. It's taking all the humidity out of my hair and making it flat. I have a mate. Fortunately, I don't have any hair to do this weekend. I'm thinking other people who actually who have flat hair all the time are experiencing the same thing. Fortunately, their hair won't be my problem, right? It'll be somebody else's problem this weekend. This is, I have a dibby dab of this left. It's a strengthening control by Pureology. Just gonna give myself a little zhuzh here and there. This is not clean hair. I'm trying to think when I washed it. Uh, maybe Tuesday and today's Thursday. And I've been to the gym maybe once since then. Thank you for getting ready with me this morning, and I'll give you an update uh, how I feel that this mascara and primer work. Also, um, I'll tell you, give you feedback on the dramatically different moisturizing gel from Clinique. I feel like something that's got such simple ingredients, not that I know what the ingredients are, should uh, make my skin feel better, but not cause any irritation that the fancy ingredients would cause. I hope y'all have a great day, and be sure and subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss my next video. I try to stick to a schedule of Sunday, Wednesday, and Friday, but sometimes I do I get a wild hair and I film a video extra. Y'all have a great day. See you soon.